Hi guys, welcome to the new video of this Linux Pro series. In this video, last week we discussed rate type storage. So I told you that uh, what are the how like how many type of storage we have and how we how we can differentiate them, what is the use of them. But uh, the agenda of this video is to discuss the ls blp command. This is very important command according to the LHC also, and if you are doing some administrative task also. So the full form of is this list block devices and the last video we discussed that we have three types of storage so if you want to uh, list all the block storage block storage is a concept but to achieve this block storage concept we have block devices like hard disk and pen drive so if you want to list all the devices we have a lsblp command if you see and if you go to the terminal lsblp if i do okay this is same as uh, doing lsblp so it will showing me all the block devices. So SDA, as you all know, whenever you install operating system, that will create a partition, and your partition or your OS will install in slash boot. But that slash boot is just a mount point because after creating partition, we have to mount it somewhere. And the detailed lecture of this will come in after the two three lectures, like how we can create a partition and how why we need to mount it. But you can think of we have to mount it to access that hard disk, hard disk because the direct access to hard disk as human we don't have. Slash boot is a folder where we have operating system installed, but that operating system is at the end finally stored in some hard disk only. And uh, that hard disk is SDA, but in the, inside that hard disk we have two partitions. And in one, one of the partition we have boot operating system installed. Okay, and uh, okay, boot boot uh, files are uh, there. Uh, this is a folder where we have operating system installed. Okay. Second, like we have extra hard disk of 8 GB, and uh, these are the two again block devices. Okay. And uh, if you want to list all the things, then hyphen L is the option to list the things. Okay. Same uh, same option it will give. But now I want to show is this uh, the demo of block devices so as i told you in the last video pen drive is also a block device so if i do lsblk and uh, if i do hyphen a you can see sda sdb sr0 sr1 okay okay and like uh, let me go to my window system one second if i open my file explorer okay and if i go to the this pc so in this you can see no USB drive is attached, but I am attaching my pen drive of 4 GB. See, it got attached. Okay. Now if I go to the Linux system and if I again run a command called lsblk hyphen L, it will not show you that USB device or hyphen A I can also do. See only the same thing is there is DB SR0 server. Why it's not showing you if this is a block device? So for that you need to understand one concept. Windows is one operating system. On that we are running hypervisor. That uh, in the second video of my this tutorial I explain you what is hypervisor, what is virtualization. But for hypervisor we are using a tool called virtual box. So on the top of hypervisor we are running a system, Linux system, not directly. So USB device is attached here in the windows. That's why we can show it on uh, like uh, our windows file system or windows file explorer. We can see it. But why we are not able to see in Linux machine because that USB is still not attached to this machine. And to do this or to attach this USB, we don't have direct way. Like we don't have access or physical thing this Linux machine. So what VirtualBox gives us this capability is they have a drivers in the background of them. So what driver, one of the drivers they have is, the, in this driver it's written the technique or the trick that take my USB device from a Windows machine, do some tricks in depth and somehow connect that USB drive, remove from Windows and connect to my Linux machine. So they will create some between path or something like that and they will attach your pen drive to Linux machine. And as I told you, pen drive is a block device that will only attach to one system at a time. 
so for that what we have to do is in the down or in the top somewhere you can see your option that is devices and clicking on this devices going to the usb and uh, this is my usb drive i am choosing it okay now you will see the difference the pop up will come here, come up here because you know see 3.9 gb volume and you know this like using a block storage what we have to do we have to create a partition like we done in our hard disk also to install operating system so partition we have to create linux done it in the background well done it in the background for us and to use it we we don't have direct access access as a human so they mounted it on some folder so this all thing will be done by linux or the linux gui in the background they formatted it they part created a partition on it they mounted it on some folder they created some folder and mounted it how i can see is if i go to the windows c that pen drive is removed from here why because pen drive is a block storage and only one time we can attach the block storage or block device at a one system at a one time but now if i go to the linux machine and do lsblk hyphen a you will see a difference see before that sdc is not there now it's there and it's of 3.7 gb and it's mounted here so that proves the pen drive is a block storage and for block storage we have to mount it somewhere and uh, let me go inside this and this is same pen drive how i can show it to you is i'm going inside here if i do ls c python script multiple things are there okay but let me create one file with the name touch shri and another is block device and if i remove it from this linux machine let me remove it how i can remove i just unclick it and if i do lsblk again so this is removed because at a single time one pen drive or one block device will attach to one system only as this is removed but if i go to my windows system again you can see that is attached back to this windows if i go to this pc and see this two device or uh, two pen drive or two files were created there so it proves this is the same pen drive but at at one time it will attach to one system so that's all about lsblk command and the block storage how we can access the block storage without mounting we can't access it that's why we it's automatically mounted by linux machine but now in the next few lectures we will see what is vg what is lvm that is important to rscs exam and question but before that i taught you this because it's very important before going to deep into uh, some questions or some big concept that is lvm or vg or like this we have to understand the basics So I given you the basics or the type of storage and how we can access the block storage and that is basic command. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and uh, let's meet in the next video.